So it seems that I've become a leading shoe reviewer here on YouTube. This is gonna be my third shoe unboxing and review video. Today we're taking a look at the A-Leader Men's Barefoot Mesh Water Shoes. Hello, yes, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV and let's get straight in and see what these bad boys look like. So the first thing that gets me straight out of the box is the sole looks absolutely cooking. This is a barefoot style shoe, so the sole is very thin and I can already tell these are gonna be pretty good for trapezing. I would say compared to the Zero Colorados that I've been uh, using pretty exclusively, uh, the rubber is a little bit softer, which might make them a bit better on the trapeze. Then they've got a mesh top, which maybe means less stone infiltration in the footbed. Now, let's just slip one on, see how it feels. Oh, they certainly are easy to put on. And I'll tell you what, first impressions, uh, that is a comfortable shoe. Feels a bit like wearing slippers. Very comfy indeed. Okay, so we're going out on a tiger to try these bad boys out. Just walking forwards onto the foredeck. Grip seems reliable, trustworthy, and good. So far, so good. Very comfortable on the foot, it has to be said. Loads of space for the toes. Uh, nobody likes having their toes squished up into a very small space, that's for sure. So what I've noticed initially with these shoes is that they are so comfortable. Oh my word. It is like putting your feet into a, your favorite pair of comfortable slippers, except they're more comfortable than that. And then the very thin sole, that barefoot styling, means you can feel everything underfoot. But even when walking on rocks like this, it's not uncomfortable, there's enough there to stop it from being uncomfortable. Okay, here we go. So let's see what these bad boys are like on the side of a Hobie Tiger. So they feel pretty grippy. One of the um, kind of criticisms of the Zero Colorados that I've been using have been that on the side of a tiger, because it hasn't got that rubber grip uh, on the side of the boat, they are a little bit more slippery. But I could tell you that these ones, you do feel nice and secure on the side of the boat. Yeah, I'd say these shoes certainly feel at home on the side of this boat. Very nice. Okay, let's see how they work through attack, running across the trampoline. Here we go. Yeah, very predictable. Nothing you wouldn't expect there. Good grip on the trampoline as well as on the side of the boat. Okay, but I know what you're thinking. How do these bad boys perform on a single-handed 15-knot spinnaker run? All right, let's find out. So just bearing away there, tack line out. Gonna pull her up. All right, before I sheet in, just gonna pull the mainsail in tight. Okay, taking the sheet. Then sheeting the kite in a bit, shuffling over the edge, making sure I don't become unhooked, because that would be problematic.
here we go, breeze coming on. So I'm coming forwards in the lighter wind, going to the back when it's a bit stronger. Shoes are gripping well. Going for the foot strap right at the back now. Oh yeah, they, they feel like they belong in there. coming forward slightly it is of course very easy just to stay in that foot strap but it's when you come out that's when you need the grip and I'm not saying that they're as grippy as a traditional neoprene boot which is designed for this these shoes are not designed for sailing they're designed as an all-round aquatic shoe but I would say they are performing remarkably well. Okay, let's see if we could go for a jive. So I'm just gonna come in first. Unhooking, might just swivel the camera around now. <clears throat> okay, so here we are out on the trapeze, on the 16 and these bad boys are gripping very effectively indeed. These shoes really doing a great job. Gonna go for a wire to wire, well, a from the wire tack. So I'm just coming back a bit. Gonna stand up. Bit of a wind shift there, so. Here we go, through the wind. Jib's back, that's time to do some stuff. I wouldn't go for that method if it was really windy because uh, you might result in a bit of a an off the back but I can safely say these are certainly performing well in these conditions okay so that's right we're now you're not going to believe it but we're in a laser oh yeah all right and already the shoes feel very comfortable secure comfortable and secure so, just hiking out, yeah, no problems there, very nice indeed. Yeah, once again, the A-Leader mesh barefoot water shoes are, are proving that they are a good all-rounder, good for the Tiger good for the 16 and as we're seeing here good for the laser right we'll just take it through a jibe nice okay so there we go I think that shows that the mesh barefoot water shoes from a leader shoes i think that's how you pronounce it i don't actually know um they're a very good choice uh they come in at a lower price point than the zero shoes as well on the website they're under 40 dollars and get this if you use the code that you'll find a discount code that you'll find in the description below you get 15 percent off how good is that so I think it's definitely a good choice. I believe they are shipping in the USA. So unfortunately, if you are in Europe, it's gonna take a little bit of time uh, for them to arrive. But uh, there you go. So thanks very much, thanks for watching. I hope this has been useful and informative. And um, if nothing else, we've had a lovely time out on the water and here I am sat on a laser very nice too